what's new in ER Studio Team Server 19.33. So just to recap, ER Studio is an enterprise tool for data architects to be able to design and document data assets. And we've got an ongoing mission to be able to connect that team of data architects with data governance and data analytics teams and form a company-wide data ecosystem. ER Studio has two main components we've got on the left there are thick client data architects that our data modelers and data architects are using day in day out um, they're storing their models in a central repository inside team server and team server also has a web front end that allows a wide range of stakeholders to be able to browse those models created by the data architects and also access uh, data governance features like the business glossary and the data catalog 19.33 of Team Server provides support for single sign-on. So now users, rather than typing in a username and password, can just hit button and log in through uh, an existing single sign-on session. So if the user has logged in to the identity provider through any other application uh, and they've got a session open, they go straight into Team Server. And to do this, we use OpenID Connects through Azure Active Directory or Okta. Let's have a quick look. So this is the new Team Server login screen. So as usual, you can type in a username and password. Some of your admin users might want to log in through that username and password. Or I can simply hit the login via SSO button and I can go straight in. Here it's allowing me to choose which Microsoft account I want to use. Log into here as your Active Directory through whatever mechanism I've set up for this user. Here, just username and password. And here we are, logged into Team Server. The behavior is once you set up users to access the application in Azure Active Directory or Okta, um, if they've never accessed Team Server before, once they log in successfully, then they'll get allocated to a default group with all the default permissions that you've assigned. Setting up single sign-on is really easy. You go straight to the configurator, logging in as your super user. You go to the single sign-on tab here, and there's a new section, and you can select which SSO provider you use. We support Okta and Azure Active Directory identity providers. You plug in your basic details, tenant ID, client ID, client secrets, and you can get all that from the Azure Active Directory. So once you've set up uh, the application in Azure Active Directory, you plug the details into Configurator and off you go. And it's the same for Okta. You register the application and it provides you all the details, which you again plug straight into the Configurator. So to summarize, Team Server 19.33 provides single sign-on support for Azure Active Directory and Okta identity providers. Thanks for watching. For more information, contact us at sales.idea.com. Thanks.